asked the question, what is the spoon theory? What is a spoonie? You see the hashtags on my Instagram posts, like spoonie strong, spoonie, like what is a spoonie? What's going on here? Lindsay, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Here on YouTube, I upload a girly girl, bougie on a budget, lifestyle, chronic illness, and LGBTQ content. Thank you for clicking on this video. I'm so excited about the topic of today's video. As you all know, I make lots of videos about chronic illness because obviously I live with multiple too many to count for me at this point. Uh, <laughs> anyway, today's video is highly, highly requested and that is what is a spoonie what is the spoon theory so you all hear me all the times in my videos say oh that used a lot of spoons or oh my god i have no spoons left i'm completely out of spoons i'm exhausted i'm ready to go to bed some people have dm'd me some people have commented have just asked the question what is the spoon theory what is a spoonie you see the hashtags on my instagram post spoonie strong spoonie like what is a spoonie What's going on here? Honestly, when I first saw Spoonie everywhere, I was like, what is a Spoonie? And I had to do my own research on it too, so that's why I'm making this video, so that you all can know about the Spoon Theory and a Spoonie, because it's super helpful, because even if you don't live with a chronic illness, it's helpful to know about it, because if you have friends or family or significant others who have chronic illnesses, then you can be more educated and you can help to support them so that they don't have to use as many spoons. But before we get into the video, don't forget to stop what you're doing and subscribe to join the family and don't forget to turn on that bell so that you know whenever I upload but let's just get right on into this video what is the spoonie the spoonie theory explained and if you're wondering I'm wearing my insert name here Maya Pony in champagne blonde I have a discount code down below if you all are interested I'm actually going to be having a new insert name here pony video coming soon uh, I'm gonna be trying out two new ponies so stay tuned for that that's coming but yeah okay I'm hooked up to fluids right now my main chronic illnesses are my POTS my postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome my dysautonomia my potential EDS my gastroparesis my cyclical vomiting syndrome seizures there's a lot going on for me, um, <laughs> but basically I am a spoonie. I am a chronically ill or disabled individual. That's kind of what a spoonie is. It's someone who is chronically ill, has a chronic condition, or is disabled. So to summarize it, super fast, super short, super sweet to the point, spoons basically equals energy. Spoons equals energy. So basically, the spoon theory is a metaphor that is used to describe the amount of mental or physical energy that a person has available for daily activities, to live and function, as well as how much energy they have for tasks, whether that be a big task like doing some work or whether that be a small task like getting up and going to the bathroom or showering. Spoons is kind of a way to provide a visual representation of the energy that you have left. So I'm gonna put a little graphic on the screen right now. You can take a second and look at it. This is kind of what I'm gonna be going over today, but basically a normal person has way more spoons They typically have like 30 to 25 spoons in a day Whereas a spoonie an individual who struggles with a chronic illness or is disabled only have around 12 spoons per day Plus if you're sick take away four spoons if you didn't sleep well take away a spoon <laughs> or if you forgot to take your meds or skipped a meal takeaway spoon. Doing different tasks absorbs and requires different amounts of energy and those with chronic illness, especially with chronic illnesses that cause fatigue, spoons equal energy. So when I say I'm out of spoons, I, I'm meaning I have no energy. I am exhausted. I literally cannot get up and go pee right now. I can't function. If I get up, I'm gonna have a medical episode. If I keep pushing myself, I'm going to have a medical episode. The majority of people who live with chronic illnesses and disabilities, obviously it depends on the illness disability how you have to manage it or how you have to plan out your days my camera's weird it keeps moving sorry we have to plan out our days so that we don't run out of spoons and because we have very limited spoons we have to use them wisely if I do something like a shower that is 
probably four to five spoons. It literally takes everything out of me, whether it's hot or cold, it's just a shower, it's standing, it's work. I mean, I use a shower chair. I have a whole video coming about how I shower with a pick line and with pots, but a shower would require a lot of spoons. So I have to typically do showers at night because if I do it early in the morning, it's gonna take away spoons and not allow me to get as much done during the day, if that makes sense. So that's why we have to kind of plan out our days so that we know exactly how many spoons we're gonna use so that we prepare. And if you end up having a medical episode, that can take away spoons. So it's basically spoons equals energy. Spoon equals the amount of how we can function physically, mentally, just what we have left in us. <laughs> so when we say we're out of spoons or we're running low on spoons, that means we're struggling. That means we are tired, we are pushing through. That means that we're having symptoms. I mean, we're always typically having symptoms. Ma majority of us are in some kind of discomfort or pain or dealing with a symptom all the time. Booney community was kind of made to just be a place where people kind of understood each other and other people who live with similar or related conditions or disabilities, you understand what it feels like to have the, that limited energy and ability to do things day to day and you have to plan your days to a tea so that you can make it through the day without making yourself more sick or without having issues. For a lot of us it doesn't really matter how much we sleep, how little we sleep, we don't typically wake up feeling refreshed. So that's where it's like a typical person, they go to sleep, they wake up, they feel refreshed, they're good, they can function, they can do whatever they need to do, however much they need to do, without giving it a second thought. Whereas chronically ill and disabled people don't really get to experience that and be as spontaneous. Yeah, we can be spontaneous and if we're having a good day and we wanna go do something, we can do that. But it's not gonna change anything. Then, then, then it's a matter of, oh, do I need to bring my walker? The theory was actually developed by, I hope I'm not butchering her name, but Christine Miserandino in 2003. It was a way for her to express how it felt to have lupus. So she used spoons to provide a visual representation of her units of energy and how chronic illness forces her to plan out her days and actions in advance so we don't run out of energy or spoons. It has since been applied to other phenomena such as other disabilities, mental health issues, marginalized communities, and other factors that might place an extra or often unseen burden on other individuals. So those with chronic illness or pain have reported feeling a difference and a division between themselves and people without disabilities. So this theory and the claiming of the term spoonie is basically utilized to build communities for those with chronic illnesses that can support one another. So every activity requires a certain amount of spoons and a person who runs out of spoons has no choice but to rest until their spoons are restored. So if I'm in the middle of a store and I run out of spoons and I pass out or I have a seizure, I'm going to have to stay there until I get a spoon enough to get out of the store and get home or y'all don't know where else that would go that would lead to the hospital. <laughs> we don't like that. We don't like that at all. So this term is helpful for so many reasons. One, because it provides community. It allows you to be connected to fellow spoonies out there. That's why I always, I literally always say it in my videos. That's why so many people have been like, what is a spoonie? What is, what is the spoon theory? Why do you always talk about spoons? That's why. <laughs> because spoons equals energy without being like, I'm tired, it's just I'm running low on spoons. Because I know a lot of people, at least for me personally, but a lot of people don't like complaining because like I said, people who are chronically ill or disabled are typically always in some form of discomfort, whether that be a headache or dizziness or literally anything. Stomach pain, back pain, muscle pain, joint pain, it could be anything, but we don't typically get a break from our symptoms. So it's nice when we have something else to say rather than, oh, I'm tired or oh, I'm in pain or oh, I'm hurting, it's just like, I'm low on spoons, I'm not doing good, I need to rest and get more spoons. Or, please give me some of your spoons because I could use them right now. <laughs> I've literally told that to my girlfriend, she's... And we've even talked about it in videos, like when we were doing outros. Because once you're out of spoons, you're out of spoons. You are out of energy, you are running on E. That is, that is the equivalent, running on E in a gas tank. My little heart right here. She likes to be tacky. <laughs> That's our preferred method of function. She likes being tacky and when she's tacky, I'm not happy. That kind of rhymed. 
Anyway, <laughs> that's the spoon theory. I hope that this kind of clarified some things for you. If you have questions, feel free to comment down below. I'd love to answer them and I'm sure other spoonies would too. Uh, if you are a spoonie, say hey in the comments below. If you have something else to add, comment down below. I love my channel to be a safe place and just a place of realness and happiness. I don't know, just a place where you, it's like a breath of fresh air. That's, that's the goal of my channel. I just want you all to not feel as alone in your battles and journeys. I wanna not feel as alone in my day-to-day -day struggles and journeys. And I truly love the Spoonie community because we help each other get through. I have made so many Spoonie friends online and there's several that I talk to literally day-to-day really -day in my Instagram DMs and shout out to them because they're all awesome and super sweet but please feel free to share this video with your friends and family if you are a spoonie watching this video I would love to help you open the conversation to talking about the spoon theory with your friends and family comment down below if you are a family or friend of a spoonie that is it for today's video i really hope that you all enjoyed it don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked it comment below any video requests and don't forget to stop what you're doing and subscribe to join the family i love you all so much i will see you in my next video love you